This is Tommy from Carrera Castings. Today in Best Practices, we're featuring CAD file maintenance. In today's episode, we're covering Booleans versus groupings. What we will be talking about today is the difference between booleaning your objects together and grouping them. This is important because when you boolean something, it creates a solid that's ready to be STL'd and put into the solidscape machine. Whereas grouping is there mainly as a convenience to move multiple parts from one end of your, view, of your viewport to the other. Let me explain. In this ring here, we have multiple parts. Basically, we have the shank, the top, and a whole bunch of prongs. If I wanted to move these prongs as a as a group away just to see what, what is going on with my file, it would be difficult for me to just grab each one and move it or to highlight it and move it over because you might miss one. So the best way to do it is to pick everything and group it together. This is almost in every CAD program in the world has groupings and boolean. Again, the difference is in Booleans, what you're doing is you're creating a single watertight solid, whereas in groupings, it's more for maneuverability and ability for you to move multiple parts on your viewport so you can do the work. So if now I've grouped these together. So if I just pick one of the prongs, everything is picked and nothing goes out of place. So if I want to move it out of the way, it's out of the way to bring in my shank and my top and then for me to check, to do other work, check to see if the stones are positioned correct. Do I have an angle on my wall? Are my stones set down enough? Is everything positioned correctly? And then at this part, I can pick these same prongs and bring them in and get them ready to be Boolean within the top. That is the difference. Most people have a habit of picking everything on their screen and creating an STL. That will create multiple parts and, you know, parts within a part within a part, which will become disastrous when it's time to build the part. What should happen is after you've positioned everything and everything is where you like it to be, you take your groupings and you ungroup them. In Rhino, you can go to edit, go to, let's find groups and ungroup them. So now they're individual parts again. So then you pick everything and you go to solids and you say Boolean union. So as it's going through the process, what it's doing is it's cutting them, splitting them, getting rid of the area that's not supposed to be there and then joining them all together. So now wherever I pick this ring, it is a one solid part and we are ready at this point to check the file and bring it to the solidscape machine. In summary, we covered that booleans create watertight solids, groupings are used to move multiple parts on your screen, and that is a best practice to ungroup everything before you boolean it. Hope you enjoyed this segment and stay with us. There are more best practice videos in CAD and 3D printing for jewelry manufacturing to come.